the object of this video is to introduce the Musici Tiger. The Tiger is a tag editor. You scan your files so you can see the metadata that's inside of them and you can edit them accordingly. But first you have to load data into it. So the easiest way is to take from the Window Explorer a folder which has many subdirectory and they will be included and to drag it inside the tiger. And here we are, it's read all those files. Let's talk first about the basic interface of the tiger. On the right panel here you have the data source so you can potentially identify CDs and grab some uh, covers from Amazon. It's very similar to the Reaper uh, data source. On the left panel here you have a record view which means you can see all the fields record by record if you were to change you can scan and here in the center it's the table view which has many columns we can collapse and see all those columns if you want to choose you can right click on column header any and you see the whole list that's available to you let's take a few just the track number the name and the album and so proceed. So now we're left with much less information to look at. One of the great features of this tiger is the ability to group according to the field values. You can do it in many different ways. One is to use the preset grouping facilities here if I were to press by directory so everything is separated by its own directory or by other criteria. Let's say composer, genre, composition. And you can expand the tree or contract the tree with these two icons. Let's ungroup using this icon. Also a lot of choices can be made in right clicking and you have a whole list of options and also in the menus. The purpose of grouping is to be able to identify errors mainly. For example if I were to group by composer so I can drag the column here and I can see here Bach, Johann Sebastian Jean-Sebastien Bach and Johann Sebastian Bach. Obviously these are the same composers so you would have to replace the composer with Bach Johann Sebastian and your composer data would be correct. So let's do that correction here. This is a value I want so I can highlight it and copy it. Then go to the grid and highlight this with a shift click and control click will remove this. So I've selected all the faulty records. Then I can press right click manual edit or control I and here I can paste control V the composer. Then everything will be written to the files and as you can see now you have only one occurrence of the right value. If for whatever reason you made a mistake you can go back to previous value using our undo feature which is either here edit undo or control Z and let's see how it works. I highlight those records and let's say I put as a genre whatever octet. As you see it was changed now if I press control Z I am back to the previous value so don't be afraid to make changes because there's always a way back. You can bring in the grouping section as many columns as you want. For, for example I can put the genre here and it will be sorted by composer and genre but I can also move that here and now it's the reverse. Now it's first the genre and the composer and I can bring back to the pool to the column here so if we do that grouping genre and composer then you realize that you have a genre classic then music consultant and another one so here maybe you would like to put everything to classic or something else so by using this grouping you can edit your data very easily and it's very powerful if I were to exit the tiger now you will be asked if you want to save this data and if I say yes why do that because next time around the data will be here so you don't need to rescan. If you add you know 50,000 tracks to scan and it will take you a few hours to to edit all that and clean all that then you don't want to rescan every time you 
load the tagger so this way you save a lot of time this concludes our preview of the tagger it has many other features and that will be the subject of our next videos thank you